So tell me, you know, your interest in the Maasai and uh, the Maasai um, conservation, well, wilderness con conservation trust, trust, right? No, yeah. I was following Edward Norton, like a lot of other people on Twitter, and because um, a lot of my friends were following him, and um, I was really impressed. I was mostly just completely impressed with how he used Twitter. Okay. And um, I had uh, just donated a sketch to bark.org to preserve the forest in Mount Hood, and that went really well. And Really um, well. Ten grand. Yeah. <laughs> really well. Yeah. And, um, and I had done some fundraising for Doctors with Health Wars. So okay. I was interested to see uh, what they were doing, and then that just led me to keep researching the cause. And then the funny thing was, is when I was at your house, <laughs> I see this book of the Right. And then things started clicking, and I started thinking of your photos, and... Isn't it just funny how things work out? It just sort of happened. <laughs> it's just so funny. Wow. And uh, I think, you know, I, uh, I think that it felt right. I think m mainly because what I was searching for was um, a charity and cause that really empowers people to, to help themselves. Okay. And that's what I saw. Now I've been watching you paint for... And also, it was really about you. It's, it's always it's really about, about me. It's always about me. <laughs> As it should be. Uh, <laughs> okay. about you? Somebody's got to love me. Yeah, you just said that in a really um, profound effect on my life. And I wanted something. Thank you. For you, and I wanted people to see your photos. And Very good. Very good. Well, people should definitely see your artwork, and I've been watching you paint for the oh, last God. couple of weeks. Uh, I mean, it's, it's just amazing. And I actually, I was showing Leroy, uh, my sort of photography guru today, uh, some tape of you painting. He's like, she's got skills. And I'm like, oh, yeah. no, that's crazy. Yeah, no, it's not crazy. <laughs> no. It's hard. It's we're hard. all it's artists. It's much easier for me to talk about acting. No, uh, no. I mean, we're all artists, and you know, it's all subjective. But you know, when you're good, you're good. Yeah. So, uh, I wanted to ask you how long it takes you from, you know, the blank canvas to the finished product. Um, it depends on the painting. Um, I have a trouble. I have trouble with finishing. So uh -huh. I tend to just always see something else that I should change. I see something that. Uh, I the compositions off or the colors didn't blend like I thought they did. Um, and uh, that's the hardest part. I, I want to say the longest of like work on a month. Okay. And um, which is nothing compared to many artists who spend years on working. <laughs> um, and short, shorter paintings, I don't know, four or five days. Wow, okay. It just depends. I, I, right now, it really just depends on my time. Right, right. And again, I'm shooting gigantic, so it's that, and I have two little girls under five, so yeah. a full time job. Okay. And how did you get started? I mean, what initially inspired um, you to pursue art even as a hobby? Um, undergrad. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I wasn't a theater major. I was you know, just trying to figure out. University of North Carolina, what I wanted to do, I took a painting class and a sculpture class, and it, it was actually, actually, <coughs> excuse me, it was actually my uh, sculpting teacher that said, hey, you should be going. And I was like, what? Be an art major? <laughs> what are we going to do with that? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, we're going to be an actor? What are we going to do with that? Right, right, right. Um, and I kept at it, but then I started to do more plays. And then eventually I just went to school in Martin in San Francisco with the ACT and um, wow. Well, I just felt like I had to get out of Chapel Hill to explore some of the Absolutely. things I wanted to do. Yeah. And then I went to UCLA Summer School and took art there. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. And I just was around a very artistic group of people that were sculpting and photographing things. So do you, do you prefer sculpting over painting? I prefer painting. Um, mm -hmm. Sculpting takes well, it seems like since I've had kids, sculpting is like a harder thing to get to because it um, takes more time. Um, a 
work with clay, I've worked with plaster. It just makes more of a mess. <laughs> it just takes a lot more time for me. So, but I have lots of ideas of what I want to do after that. Have you ever yeah. tried sculpting? I, that might be really cathartic for somebody like me. Yeah. Get the anger out. But you know, I did take a part of policy. <laughs> oh, <see>, angry. <laughs> I did take a pottery class in undergrad, and I never completed a single pot. Did you have a little spinning wheel? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I just couldn't. It was something about I could. Form it. Yeah, I couldn't get it. I just when you get it to the point you where just you get the it shape. Out you? No, yeah. yeah, and then you get it to the shape, and then all of a sudden I I couldn't get it to yeah. the next step. I admire it. I, I I'm a big like Jonathan Adler fan. Yeah. <laughs> 